box. So Smart a Box actually contacted me on Twitter and they were so nice enough to send me a box to review and now we are going to unbox it. I love that it has a side where your address and stuff is on in the back and has a, a front side where you can actually just like show the box off without having to worry about exposing your address and whatnot and that's so they were so nice to send me this box so i'm gonna open the box up nice little purple you know vibe right here you know purple rain you know from light so i got my little edward scissor hands right here you know i'm gonna open this box. So, nice little vibe on the bottom they were so kind to send me this from instagram i'm not instagram on twitter um and i like that empowering creativity because you know we're all about um art on this channel and vlogging and um, you know life of art so we open it here and it has a really nice like neon orange color so love smart art question mark <laughs> let us know so i guess you can let them know leave a review and earn peacock points i don't know what that is but maybe that's a point system but let, let's put you guys down so we can open the box and yes i'm really enduring the orange it's like really bright um, the white on the orange makes it really pop and they have like a bunch of words here so that's really cute touch and this is an art heart shape so that's really nice the orange inside look at that okay I was honestly thinking about um, upgrading to tissue paper for some of my packages whenever I get boxes I'm gonna try to attempt to take this all out at once because I don't want to expose any of it I hate when I do unboxings and it goes like that but they have a nice little bubble wrap in here that's cool. Orange stuff that they gave us in this little pouch. Let's put it down here. I'm trying not to expose any of it because I, <laughs> I don't want to like take it all out at once. Okay. Excitement. Okay, so we start off with the first top thing. So I'm just going to go for things as they appear to me. No! <laughs> smart art. Okay, so maybe this is like a little pen. Complete the smart art. Weekly challenge and win look in project pointer section for more details. So they have like kind of like scroll box when it comes to that. Oh, this exposes the tools. Okay, I'm just I'm not gonna read this because I don't want to look at it. Okay. Okay, so what we got here, we got we got some blending stumps. And this is a value pack, and the um brand seems to be Royal Lang Nickel. Um I haven't heard of this brand and I also don't really use blending stumps but I know what they are due to watching videos other people's videos so yeah so this is some blending stumps okay cool and then we have some we have a sticker oh focus focus there we go we have a smart art sticker cool and then we have these Derwent Tinted charcoal pencils. So, these are the pencils. Cool. Graphic. Graf graphite pencils. So, that's pretty cool. They're professional quality. And, oh, this is like an A10 or something. That would be good because, you know, charcoal can get messy. I'm not like, I don't use charcoal. But I do have charcoal from previous Scrawler boxes. So, at one point, I'm going to make a video with me like using all of these um items to make I'm just gonna rip this using all the items I've gotten so far to do like a charcoal drawing because I've accumulated um some pretty nifty charcoal um items over my subscription box lifetime right now so this is the little pal oh my god I like this a lot this is really nice nifty because as I said charcoal can get really um messy and it's nice that they give you a little tin to hold them in. This is really nice. Honestly, it's really nice. And I love, the, like, the orange accent on them. This is really, really good. Oh, my God. And then, as I said, they come in different, like, levels. So we'll do, like, a portion where we, like, squatch out everything to make it look nice and cool. But I really adore this, like, casing. This is, like, really good for holding things. Like, that's really good. Like, I'm, this might be my favorite thing so far that I opened. Oh, we got candy. Um, what is this? We have a charm mini. Cool. We got a lollipop to suck on. Alright, no problem. Cool. Love these boxes. And then we have a Faber Castell kneaded eraser. I'm happy it's small because I feel like I've 
accumulated a lot of erasers but I actually use my kneaded erasers for like non art things I use them to stick things together I use them when I'm filming stuff I use them to like keep markers flat in pictures like <laughs> so kneaded erasers have become good so I'm actually happy I have another kneaded eraser to add to my kneaded eraser because I'll be abusing my kneaded eraser for non art purposes but you know it's cool a little pack of kneaded this is a favorite cast style one so you know need eraser next thing we have is what are these spectrum noir well i've heard a lot about the brand spectrum noir i've seen that they have markers double-sided markers they have alcohol based markers um i've seen draw with jazza do some things with spectrum noir i haven't really invested in any spectrum noir but i did receive a couple of spectrum noir markers that i need to review as well whenever I get around to it so I'm extra happy that I have liners to go with it so I could just make like a little spectrum noir video okay so these are art liners and they come in 0, 0, 005, zero, 005, and zero, 08 which is good because those are good in between um, sizes for like lining I'm just gonna get rid of all this packaging I mean I feel like the only down downside about um I see so far um, compared to Scrawler Box, not to compare them, but like my only comparison right now would be um, there's a lot of packaging. Scrawler Box doesn't really send you all this packaging. Like they kind of just put the art supplies together, and if it is like a specific packaging, like this would have been encased in a packaging, so that's fine. But like for these um, fine liner stuff and like the individual pencils, it's a little bit it's a little bit of too much packaging for my taste. But like it's also okay. I mean it gives you more unboxing to do, which is cool, but I just feel like all this extra stuff is not needed. That's my only like critique so far. It's a lot of um a lot of like extra stuff. Like y'all could just put this like in like with like a bunch of stuff and then people would have to like unpack all that and it's like less waste. But I don't know how they do like their stuff. I don't know if they like get their art supplies like wholesale or like they just buy them individually in the packaging and pack them up. I don't know. I'm not a subscription box service, but that's my only like little tip like for you guys. Like if you are watching like like try to like reduce like packaging. Cool. Um it might also help with weight too. I don't know if that counts it for anything. But um these are the art liners. I like the barrels on them. They feel really chunky, you know resistant i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna do um swatching of everything all the supplies and we're gonna make something a uh, piece of art and we're gonna post it and whatnot so don't worry but yeah these are the liners i like the like the um writing on them and they're really shiny and yeah i hope they work well because they feel good okay so we have the pencils back here we have the liners we have the blending stumps we have the charcoal pencils which i'm excited for I'm just going to unpack these. So as I said again, a lot of packaging. But extra stuff you have to throw out. So I would recommend you guys, like, not, like, kind of try to reduce waste when it comes to, like, all this packaging. We have the kneaded eraser. We have the candy. And we have the paper. <laughs> um, lesion. I don't know if that's the way it's called or uh, legend lesion we are paper like I do do have a watercolor one I first found out about this brand of sketchbook from Franard here on YouTube um, I have like a watercolor one or like a drawing one but I'm happy to be able to get another one of these because I do want to try try them out more and I know that they have like really good paper and this paper feels really really thick honestly I feel like it's gonna be really good and it's textured so it's gonna be really good for um, the charcoal pencils and stuff like that and blending so i'm actually excited to do something with these i'm really excited oh my god and i like the size it's like nice and portable you can put it in your bag come on we don't we don't love a sketchbook that can go in your bag like that's great and i love when um art boxes send you sketchbooks to draw in even though i have too many but for those who are just getting into like um subscription boxes it's nice because like you literally have everything you need to create so I like that. I like that. So I'm going to clean up real quick and we're going to get into squatching out some of these bad boys. All right. So be back in a second. Here's me attempting to do a voiceover because my neighbor likes to have her AC on and keep turning it 
off and on every 15 minutes so basically i sped up this part of the video because it's gonna be a very long video if i didn't speed it up just a little bit so i basically just washed out all the art supplies and decided to do my own little um drawing i haven't done traditional art in a very very long time so it was actually very exciting to do one right now and thank you thank you thank you to a smart art box for sending me this box to review um it was actually really fun it was fun working with the charcoal pencils i really like the different um sizes and mediums i had with the pens and the charcoals and i also had fun actually utilizing blending stumps because that was my first time actually doing a picture where i actually utilized blending stumps in a way that you know I don't know like I actually use them in my art um, I recommend you guys try them um I don't really know what they go for I could probably look it up but I've been usually getting like scrawler box and I was like I just want to get more into trying different other art boxes I know there's like the other palette full box and this other um, art influencers on here who do a whole bunch of subscription boxes so it'd be nice to like review each one and you know just kind of compare and contrast and see but I really really enjoyed this doing this video it's really diff <laughs> it's really different um, to be drawing traditional art again so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see me do more traditional art I haven't done it in a while but I'm super excited to be back into doing traditional art videos and I definitely go have some vlogs coming for you guys soon and yeah guys check out smart art box on Instagram and Twitter they're doing good things out here. I really like the little pamphlet they had. I feel like it was really well versed, had a lot of good information, and they give a lot of art supplies, honestly. Like I said earlier in the video, if you're not if you're new to art and you want to get into getting art supplies and stuff like that, I think this box would be a great um option for people to like bulk up on art supplies at once, especially if it's a specific medium. I think they're really good with that. And yeah, I love the packaging and it was really fun to make this and I had a good time. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to do more um basically charcoal pencil art more art like this i really want to get back into incorporating different types of mediums on my channel aside from my vloggy content that will be coming towards you guys so i want to get back into watercolor um i have a marker marker versus video that i'm gonna do um soon and stay tuned for a updated workstation tour so there's a whole bunch of things i'm gonna be updating you guys on and yeah i'm just excited to be posting more in um, july and just you know getting back into the swing of posting on youtube because it's been two weeks since i post my last video so yeah i hope you guys aren't too upset with that the people who actually watch like religiously and hello to the newcomers i haven't told you guys yet but i'm neko i just make art videos and um, vloggy videos because my life is pretty much art so technically it's still art related when it comes to me because art is my life so yeah but yeah, um, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, it will help. I'm on the road to 5K. So if you want to subscribe and you like this video so far, hit the subscribe button, like, and leave me a comment below. Um, if you made it this far into the video, comment art box. Because that's what the video is about, art box. And then I'll give you a shout out in my next freaking video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the time lapse. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on for my next video. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Smart Art Box again. Hope you guys actually see this video. I'm going to tag them on Twitter and all that good stuff, you know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm see you guys in my next freaking video. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.